Hello guys, um, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for the Grandmaster. Right now I'm doing a 1280, so obviously my load is going to be a bit different, but in the GM, I highly recommend at least one war, uh, well lock with Phoenix Protocol and one Ursa Titan, and then one person can be either another Ursa Titan or another well lock, um, whichever you prefer. I highly recommend Triple Anarchy for the GM, and at least one stars in shadow because it's anti-barrier and solar for the heavy shanks later on and ideally one or two people running uh overload scout rifle with explosive payload you want to have at least two people with each uh type of stun that way in case one person goes down you'll still be able to deal with the champions um so as for actually doing uh, the GM I'd say if, um, make sure you have sniper resist on and then any other resist mod other than solar resist would work um, as solar is never gonna come into play um, concussive dampener melee resist void resist all those are very good for boss room which are quite necessary I'd say so normally for this room in GM I would come back to this spot here and just whittle everything down. Obviously, 1280 things are different, but normally you 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 play way back. Um, by this point, you're probably not gonna have a super, right? Unless there is a banner. Um, so you just play your time, and you get through the area. Once you pass through this area, you usually will have a super, ideally Ursa. And then you want to pop right where I am right now. Um, that way you can start working on the champ. Well, first the adds, and then then the champ, and then the uh, finally the enforcer. I do not recommend going for the enforcer first, although he, his stasis can be annoying. The vandals will absolutely mess up your day, so definitely deal with those first. Um, God damn it. <laughs> this this area is quite easy. Um, the, just make sure you're chaining supers. Ursos can always generate a ton of orbs and then you just drop the well. I would... You can... Hmm, I'd say drop well earlier rather than later. Because you want the well person to get as much as their super back as possible. Because Ursa, you're always going to get three quarters back, right? because it's GM, but well, you might not, due to the fact that sometimes you just don't get enough kills, so definitely use the wells earlier, and then use the Ursa when you're finally, like, going for the Enforcer guy, because, you know, just got, have to maximize the super chaining. Um, in this next room here, um, you want to come straight to the left. To, uh, this rock I'll show you and you want to I'd say pop Ursa first just so you can get rid of some of the ads and then swap to well chaining and you just want to you know do the usual take out enemies yada 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 and just be very careful of that dusk field nade um, because it will freeze your Ursa player and if they get frozen their shield goes down and you can shit can go south very quickly so just always be on your toes for those stasis nades um, they will mess you up a lot other than that there's not too much to this room so I'll just skip forward all right once you reach here just remember vandals will mess up your day so you jump here you know chain your supers and take out Take, just take out everything, really. Um, hot knife isn't on, so those shanks won't have solar shields. But um, the enemies later on, the heavy shanks will. So just keep in mind, once you cross to this edge, a champion will spawn. So make sure you've cleared everything out. Like, my teammates didn't do that. And also, I do not recommend div. It will mess up your anarchies. If you have one person who doesn't have anarchy, 
have them run Ariana's Vow plus a sword um, to mess up the wyverns uh, in the boss room. And just continue on here normally. Just taking out the vandals, you know. Normal stuff. Once you hit this platform, I overload Captain will spawn there. And then he'll wrap his way around to the left. So normally you want to wait for that. Also, make sure, of course, chaining supers. But blueberries are blueberries. So my teammates did whatever they wanted. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, then here at the Radio Larian Pit, it's kind of like Exodus Crash where you just step on the plate, wait for enemy spawns, then step off and pop, you know, change your supers, kill the enemies, that sort of stuff. Since this is 1280, I'm not sure if that's what we're gonna do, but we'll see what my teammates do. Um, main thing you need to know here is there's only two heavy shanks, so make sure whoever's got that solar shield break, you're on top of that. Um, otherwise those heavy shanks won't, they will mess you up. Also keep an eye out for the vandals because the Vandals will also, um, will also mess you up. Everything will. So, this is why normally you step off the plate, or otherwise you get overrun, but I digress. I highly recommend, this This is why I highly recommend Stars and Shadow slash Ariana's Vow. Um, that range just allows you to take out the Vandals. Also, make sure you have um, one Iclos SMG um, for, reason, uh, for reasons I'll talk about later. And also, uh, just the, the War Mine cells. Obviously, that won't be any good in this area um, uh, while you're draining the Radio Lair and Fluid, that is. But it will be very useful in the boss room um, as because they stagger right now, you can use them to stagger the Wyverns. Um, which is absolutely crucial. Um, normally, you just stay up there, pop a super, and you take out this overload captain. Obviously, 1280, things are different, but that's what I highly recommend doing. And then you just you slowly make your way through this room, taking out all the snipers, um, which there are, dear god, there are a ton of them. Like, be very careful. Do not be afraid to pop supers in this room. Um, it feels like an easy room, and then you see six vandals peek out from behind freaking nowhere, and you just shit yourself. So, don't be afraid to pop. That's what I'm saying. Like, I highly recommend almost always having a super down. Because you can chain them practically infinitely, and it, it just does not hurt. Never hurts to have one down. Um, once, once that uh, barrier is spawned, no, the spawns come in as you progress further. Just ignore it. Work on the vandals. Um, sure, it'll shield some enemies, but remember, if you're in a well of radiance, you can kill the shielded enemies. Uh, so just keep that in mind um, when you're trying to take out those guys. Yeah, that's more or less it for the pit. You just make sure you're literally checking every single conceivable angle for vandals. Because <laughs> there's a goddamn vandal in every single conceivable angle. Um, if you fit, if you finish up the vandals um, before the barrier servitor, you can finish that for heavy ammo. You want to have your Ursa Titans obviously running heavy finisher because your warlocks can be running the disruption nades. Because even if they're not using them on champs, uh, disrupting enemies does reduce the damage they deal to you, which is very helpful. Uh, now in this boss room, do, I highly, highly recommend going into the left room because the right room's closer to the enemy spawns and there's radio Laria in there and it's just, it's a mess. So what I normally do is right when the uh, boss is spawning, this transcendent hydra, tag him with anarchy twice if you can. It's not easy, admittedly. But if you can tag him twice, then you back up into here, and then you just set down the trap. Um, remember that the overloads will be charging you, so if you have that one guy who doesn't have anarchy and is on a uh, sword, 
make sure they're uh, ready to deal with them. And also, uh, uh, your Ursa Titans, make sure you're ready to finish them. Uh, because if you can get finishers in here, it is so helpful. Like, it cannot be overstated how helpful it is to have just that ammo ready to pick up. Um, because there are a ton of champions. You will be rushed by almost everything imaginable. So, like here, some heavy ammo. It's just... Can't beat it. Um, yeah, make, make sure you, you take out the low order uh, for the first wave. Transcendent Hydra. Uh, ideally, if you get those Anarchy tags in as the it's spawning, if two players get it, if, if all three, like, you're not going to have to deal with it. And then deal with those overloads, and then you the boss comes. Like, I'm going to be honest, do not be afraid to three-peak the boss. He is scary as hell. Um, what I've found is that this area right here, if he comes all the way up here, you can come here and just spam shoot him. Um, also, sometimes anarchy glitches out and just the damage numbers don't pop up. I'm fairly sure that it still does damage though, so don't worry about that as long as you've hit him. Um, and then just take it slow with the boss. Because in GM, he will insta-kill you, more or less. If you're not running Void and Sniper Resist. I personally run Concussive in Sniper Resist because it's also Concussive. And Wyvern's got... Holy shit. I, I don't think I need to say much about those. Um, I believe... So, again, try to get your Anarchy tags in here. Um... Now, for the wyverns, obviously, you want your traps here. We don't have an Iclos SMG to stagger them, which I am fairly worried about, but we do have a guy with a sword. Um, make sure, also, you can finish these guys super quickly, so um, make sure you're finishing them. Like, if they come in and they're messing you up, finish them, because you usually will be able to. Um, God damn it, the dib bubble. Um, normally I would wait and go for the Wyverns first, but in this case, it's a 1280, so, you know, shit's different. Um, yeah, I would say don't go for the kills on Wyverns, like, just finish them. Like, do not try to kill them, I, I, I'd say. That's, that's my personal opinion. They're just, they're, they're hella scary. And trying to kill them, that's going to take a shit ton of damage, so. Yeah. Ah, crap. Um, these barrier champions, you just take it slow and steady of them. Uh, I would say try and finish the last one for heavy ammo. Because, you know, you need as much heavy as you can get. Um, for obvious reasons. So, let's see if I can get the finisher here. Yep, there we go. And heavy. Now, this is where Bellman comes back out, so you need to be careful. You cannot tag him with Anarchy right off spawn, so you just hide. Uh, this is another Overload Minotaur wave, so you just wait. Wait for them to come close. You want to have that explosive payload so you can stagger them in two shots. And then you just melt them. This is why I'd almost say uh, two Anarchy and then one on Sword plus Ariana's. Just for the... Because um, you, you, you melt the Wyverns and everything that comes close. Because holy shit, do a lot of things to rush you here. Um, so once you deal with all the champs, it's back to just slowly melt Bellman. Um... If you, if need be, like, tag, tag him from behind a Ursa shield, because the Ursa person can always, um, they can just, you know, be sitting there and get their stuff back, um, get their super energy back, and then when you, when eventually new enemies spawn, you know, you pop a well and then bam, they have their super back. So don't worry about needing to pop Ursa to get damage in, 
Like, um, I, I highly recommend doing it, personally. You do get another wave of overloads. They aren't too bad, normally. Uh, but I'd say just be a bit careful, the fanatics. Like, so when you have your, when you're in your well or you have the Ursa, just, sh like, kill one of them and all of them will explode. You get a little bit of extra damage on the, uh, the champs if they're still next to the fanatics as well. So that's also nice. And when it's just the boss left, make sure to grab ammo if you see it. Um, because, you know, who doesn't need the ammo? Um, but yeah. And once you get Bellman to that amount of health, uh, at this point, if you're going for completion, um, well, obviously you want to get the tags in on the Transcendent Hydra. I missed mine there, I think. Okay, I actually hit. No, yeah, I missed them. You want to get those in, that way you kill it. And then, then you, if you're going for completion, you go to finish off Belmont. If you're going for Platinum, you go for you go for all the ads and then the champs. Um, personally, our team, by this point, we, we were at 32 minutes. So, um, needless to say, one of us died to the Wyverns. And we just ended up killing the boss um we did not go for platinum i'd say if you're going for completion comparing completion to completion of this strike versus corrupted this strikes harder going for platinum versus platinum corrupted is harder because you have to actually do the boss fight you just cheese it for completion um could you get platinum and cheese it i don't i don't remember but yeah make sure high close smg on top of it staggering the wyverns um obviously since this is 1280 we don't have to worry about that as much but um just keep that in mind and then once you have it just down to the barrier champs i think there's around four or six this is why i'd almost say just go for completion your first run through because these things when you have all of them peeking you like what are you supposed to do right um that's why I say just almost just go for completion. I would not go for flat. I'm personally not going to go for platinum GM to farm it. Even if there's like quadruple rewards, I'm farming 1280. Then, um, of course, once you have that down, you just take out the boss. And yeah, just don't be afraid to chain supers, you know. Um, that's more or less the strike. I'd say just the key thing is just never be afraid to super like even if it's just you think it's one enemy just pop it literally always pop your super um because you need it and also make sure your whole team has radiant light plus protective light um because since you're chain popping supers that'll help 